the moment, but still three teams left to come. Well, sitting in third place are the younger one of two Russian teams, Anastasia Mishina and Alexander Galiamov. They're the 2019 World Junior Champions. Uh, their first trip to the Senior Worlds has been a success so far, and this team is on the verge of winning a medal here in Stockholm. They sat alone in third place it's after the short. talking about music choices mm, like Queen. This program feels almost like an exhibition number, full of tricks. A lot of energy. Opening with the most difficult side-by-side -side jump we are going to see today, the Triple Sow, Euler Triple Sow. Extremely difficult uh, jump to do in unison, but they will receive probably around nine points for that element. We see there 9.8. Another one of those top-notch, world-class triple twists that you expect from the Russians. Oh. I love the way she so confidently just checks out of that throw triple lutz, like there is not a doubt in her mind. This team has had a lot of success competing around Russia this year, and I think they come to these world championships really oozing confidence. you enter a triple toe, everybody, if you were wondering. <laughs> Alexander is tall. He goes a long way down to do that Johnny Weir impression yes. and then to do the beautiful triple toe. Like his legs must have been burning when he got back up from the lunge. They've got so many cool choreographic touches in this program. The attention to detail is, is really marvelous. There's that difficult death spiral, but they maintained it for a long time. Nice level four. In order to get a level four death spiral, you have to hold it for three revolutions. Doesn't sound like much, but it is. <laughs> it's a lot to keep, <laughs> to keep the speed and flow for three revolutions so that you can also have a nice yeah. grade of execution. I paid my dues, time after time. I've done my sentence, but They haven't made any mistakes, by the way. Green boxes in the short program all the way, positive GOE, and so far, it's the same thing in the long. Really nice lift there. With this music, you can't help thinking that if there was an audience, they'd be going nuts right about now. Good point. <laughs> the transitions, not just because there is transitions, but because they are well done and they seem to be done with purpose. It's like he's hoisting up a trophy. Hold on to that thought. <laughs> That was a little bit like Megan and Eric, the way she was smiling and laughing and talking during the lift and then the spread eagle afterwards. by this young Russian team at their first World Championships. And remember, they were only five points back of first place. I love their energy. I love their fearless attack. 
And I love their bold choice of music. Absolutely. I think it worked for them. They drew me in. Back with their scores in just a moment. Welcome back to our coverage of the 2021 World Figure Skating Championships. We are watching along with you the final flight in the Paris competition. And I'll tell you something, we just saw a showstopper of a free skate by Machina, Machina and Galliamoff, didn't we? This was a program that was so confident. They executed everything without a doubt in the world. Machina is a former World Junior Champion. Shortly after winning that World Junior title, her coach and partner at the time told her she was simply too large. And if she couldn't get any smaller, then they were not going to be part of her team anymore. She was able to find a supportive partner in Galimanov and a coach in Tamara Moskvina that has given her the confidence to deliver what we've seen today. And how can you not root for a story like that? <laughs> I guess she gets the last laugh now. <laughs> There's a look at uh, Drasva Morozov, the leaders at the moment. Doubtful they will stay there after we see these scores. Big scores, 151.80, the best free skate score that we've seen today. And they will take the overall lead here with just two pair of skaters left to come. Welcome to the world's podium, kids. Mm -hmm. And I think they just put a little bit of pressure on the team that's coming up next, because 151 is about the average score that Shui and Han will usually get in a free skate. 